You're not in Because this whole evil part is your idea. What? You heard me. How could you if? How could you arrange for your daughter and your husband to be kidnapped, abducted, and brought into this evil forest? Look, uh, I have no idea how we got here. I put it to you that this is all your brainchild. This is your plan. But you know what? You have failed. Because I'm so getting my daughter and getting out of here. Find my way out of here and get back to my office. Because if I don't make it back to the office before 12 noon, I will lose a lot of money and business. Oh, it's your life. It's all about business and money. You know, not the security of your wife and daughter. Why do you think I'm doing this? Why do you think I'm chasing money and chasing businesses? Is it not so I can give my, 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 my wife and, and daughter some security? Just whatever. Whatever. Puna. You know I love you, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you want to ask me if I brought us to this forest? I need to beg you to please get us 
out of this fight. I have no idea how we got here. Oh no, you do. I don't, Muna, I don't. Listen, Becky, I have an appointment at noon today, and I stand to lose 70 million era if I don't make it to the office before noon. So please, get us out of I don't know how we got here. I have no hand in it. Don't mess with me. Get your hands off me. You're going to be in the out of here. Where do you think you're going? Moha is hungry and I'm going to find her something to eat. Oh, I see. What? So this was your idea. You make us live in the middle of nowhere. I have said this more than a million times, Mina. How else do you want me to say it? I have no hand in it. I don't know how we got here. I don't know how we got here. So please, if you would excuse me, I have a hungry child to feed. With what? Why are you taking her? I will kill you here. Get me out of here now. Will you just let me go? Will you just let me go? Let me go! What is wrong with you? What do you think I got out here? You are the one who is in your life. You are the one who is What is wrong with you? I will kill you and kill us, brother. Don't sit there, leave me alone. What is wrong with you? You are hurting me, you are hurting us. You are hurting us, please. Please, I'm going to go. What is wrong with you? You are not going to get drunk anymore. I'm in this. It is so funny.
I'm sure it's past 9 a.m. right now, okay? You just have to eat something. Please. What, what has come over you? Eve? Oh. What? What happened to you? When did you become this wicked and twisted? Please, easy with your choice of words. Our daughter is here. Our daughter? The same daughter that you abducted and brought into the middle of this forest. Right? You know, I don't know how we got here. I didn't bring us here. Do you know that our lives are not safe here? Do you know that, that a, a wild animal, a beast could come here and eat us all up? Yes, you would say you built us a, built us a house. Look, look at it. Look, look at it. Look at the door. Have you seen it? Can this stop anything from coming in the night and killing us all? I, I didn't bring us here. I don't know how we got here. Please. Leave me, I didn't. I couldn't have. I'm begging you, please. Get us out of this forest. No. It, we are not safe here. But I, I didn't. Shh, I promise you. No more traveling. Not one more travel. I would cancel everything. I would become a house husband. Just get us out of here. It is not safe. Do you get it? I don't know, because he had to be please. How can I get through to you? This is not a game, it is not funny. You're playing with our lives. You're playing with my livelihood. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how we got here. I didn't bring us here. But you're here cooking! You're cooking! You're, 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 you're feasting! In the middle of nowhere! So make something! I got out of the night! Get your eyes in. The eyes don't lie. It's obvious you're reveling, you're you're enjoying this moment. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I beg of you, please. Please get us home. Look, you are wrecking me financially. I've already lost 70 million naira today, and I stand a chance to lose a whole lot more if you keep me locked up in this place. Please get us home. You're putting our lives in danger. If not for me, just for, for my daughter, just, just please. If this is not an act of love, no, it's not. You're deluded. This is not an act of love. This, this, this is an act of wickedness. Enough! Enough, Munachi. <laughs> do I have to kill myself to prove to you that I did not bring us here? And I don't care. I really don't care. She never did. Make a smile with me because I can see through to your unhappiness. You talk to me. I'm your friend, and if you don't talk to me, I don't see who else you're going to talk to. What's the problem? Ah, uh, let me guess. Munachi has traveled again. Why thought he just got back five days ago? And left in his again. What's his problem? I don't understand it. A better life, he said. What could be better than what he's already provided for you? It beats my imagination. Don't. Don't. I miss the times I spent with him. I mean, the moments we shared together, all that time he would come to the kitchen and just hold my waist and watch me cook for us. I miss him. You know what I think we should do? Let's go and sing some praise and worship songs in church. And I'm sure we'll feel good again. Okay? supposed to be the happiest day of your life. You don't look very happy. Mm. Would you? 
My husband was supposed to return yesterday. And up till now, he's yet to call me. Look, I promise you, Unachi will come back. In fact, do you know what I think he's doing right now? I think he's somewhere right now planning you this huge surprise. <laughs> he should have just. Don't worry, he'll come back. Trust me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much, my loving daughter. Thank you, okay? Thank you, okay? Thank you, Don't worry, I told you baby. You must him. Don't you? <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. I just wish you a wonderful and happy birthday to one of the most um, dedicated mothers I know. Happy birthday. Um, you don't look too good. Come on, Chero, are you overwhelmed by the event already? Take that. Thank you so much, JT. I really appreciate this. Yo, welcome, mommy. Where is the music? Where is everybody? Where is... Yo. Did I say something? No, no, it's not your fault. You're spoiling your beautiful makeup. Huh? I've told you everything is going to be fine. You can sit down. Friends and well wishes are here. What are you doing? You're here breaking down in tears. Look, today, today is all about you. Today is supposed to be the happiest day of your life. Look at you here crying. Nachi doesn't deserve this. He does not deserve this. I want you to be happy. Today is about you. This is your day. <sighs> Clean your eyes. You put a smile on that face and go out there and have a good time. Okay? Get up. up. Okay. 
Taking our time from your very busy schedules to come here for my best friend's birthday party. Thank you all so much. I mean, this party was my husband's idea, but he's not here with us. But nonetheless, the party was go on. Um, just a party for a few people. So while we wait for him, there's enough to eat, enough to drink. Let's have as much fun as we can and put a smile on this beautiful face, shall we? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let the party begin. <laughs> I took so many pictures, but they're all on your phone camera. So maybe later you can look through and remember how fun today was. <laughs> your phone is ringing. Don't worry, let me get it for you. Why aren't you going to take his call? But is the reason you've been crying all day and now he's calling and you're not taking his calls? I understand. Just forget about everything, okay? Just try and get some sleep and... Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? I never cared. That's why I go out every day running around trying to make money for you and our daughter. Another wife would have said, Oh, bravo husband, you're doing so well. He would have charged me to go and do more, but not you. All you want me to do is to stay at home and just watch your eyes, watch television, or sit on the couch and just sit my butt around, eat and drink and sleep and die. Is that what life is to you? Life and marriage, is that what you learn that it is? Get me out of here, I want to make money. You're chasing money. Huh? You're chasing money. You think I would be so stupid to keep believing that lie, right? You're making money philandry shamelessly, shitting on your, your faithful wife with two prostitutes? You have no idea what you're talking about. You're out of your mind. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself! 
You were hoping that I would not know until the lipstick on your shirt sold you out. Shameless you! You should be ashamed of yourself! You should be ashamed of yourself! You're making money, you're chasing money! You ought to be ashamed of yourself! All you do is eat and sleep and provide for you and buy you clothes, clothe you, feed you and house you! And yet you had the audacity to bring a man into my home! Holy Saint Mary! You're just a cheap whore! Prostitute! That's what you are! Go! I stopped for you. Let me go and look for your mom. Okay? Hmm? Will you be here? Just lie down away from me. Okay? Please don't. Well, I hate it when you act like this. It's, it's, it's not like I'm going abroad. I'm just going to Abuja. It's not, it's not like I'm gone forever. I'm only going for a week. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our daughter. I'm doing this for us, for our future. I don't want you to go and suffer like my mother did. I don't want our daughter to suffer like, 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 like I did. I don't want to be like my father. You're already not like your father, Minoji. You have provided more than enough for us. You don't understand. My father made a little money from carpentry and he became complacent, he relaxed. Before you knew it, the little became nothing. That's why I'm going for the big money. That's the way there's so much more to do out there. There's so much money to make. All right? And I'm going to keep going. I'm keep, keep, I'll keep going for it. But when I hit the billionaire mark, boom, then I can relax. Yeah, but until then, we can keep moving. I, it's you I want, not any amount of money in the whole world. I love you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this for you. I want to be able to give you everything. Anything that you want. But you're thinking it, I'm making it happen. That's the life, man. That's the life, baby. Andy. Hmm? Dad. I'm What did you promise Dad? You were going to tell Dad? So we are going to ask for children. What did Dad say he was going to do? I don't want any gifts. Really? I want to go and tell her about the competition today. I'm contesting that. Princess, mommy's going to be there, okay? 
There's just got work to do. Have to work. Wait, 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 I promise you. The next one, I'll be here. want to go home. My dad wants to have sex with me. What? So sorry. So sorry.
I don't need you to be stored. I need you to stay with me. I need you to be here. But I'm here now. I need you to always be here, Mona. I don't want you leaving me here every now and then. I'm sorry, my dear. Please stay, Mona. Please. I just love this as long as it's killing me so You're my first love. My heartbeat. My boyfriend. Mona, you're my husband and my all. Please love me back like you used to. I still love you, Eve. Than I even did before the wedding. Right? I'm still your first love. I'm still your boyfriend. I'm still your husband. I'm still your heartbeat. I'm still your all in all. Then prove it by staying. But I have to make a future for us. You have already done that. I mean, what more could I ask for? Honey, we miss you. Please stay. Stay and love us. Stay and love your daughter. Stay and love me. We miss all the time we spent together. We miss the jokes we cracked to us. We miss everything. We just stay. Please. Shh, say no more. Okay. You too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> So, you ready to go to work?
Don't forget that mommy's birthday is on Friday. I'll never forget. I'll go back on Wednesday. Promise you. Okay? Hmm? Okay. So let me talk to mommy. Baby. So when are you returning this time? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. You and I know I'll be back before Friday. Take that drink. Come on, Eve. Oh. Staff in this hotel. But you are in room service, you are in laundry too. I need you to make love to me. Have you gone nuts? Are you out of your mind? No! No, that's not going to happen. I have nothing to lose. I'm going to scream rape, and everybody, including your wife, will know. Nobody's going to believe you. Everybody will. Wait, so all that story about your father raping you, it, it, it was all a lie? Oh, please. My father died since I was 12 years old. We're not talking about my father here. We're talking about you and I. It's not gonna happen. Leave right now. Stop this. Stop. <laughs>
Andi. 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 Been an, an egocentric, blind husband and father. I couldn't even protect my own wife. No, it's me. It's me. I swore to, to, to love and protect you, but I've never been there for you guys. 
I was chasing money, chasing this and chasing it all like God. When I thought I wasn't going to see you again, I was ready to lose everything just to have you back. I promise we will find a way. I will find a way. We will get out of here. But I'll tell you something. If we ever make it out of this place, we'll go back to being the man that you married. So, are you hungry? Yes, I am. I made some rice. Let me get you some food. I know we've been through a lot in this forest, but I'm still tempted to ask you about the lipstick stain I saw on your shirt. What? Well, it's, it's nothing, I promise you. It was just one, you know, room service girl that get fresh with me, you know? All these girls, very audacious. You know, just came into the room and started to, you know, try to kiss me and all of that. I'm like, Come on, man. You should be in school or something, you know? So you're saying uh, nothing happened? Absolutely. She tried to have her way. I didn't let her have her way. You know what? She wasn't even my type. You know, I wasn't even moved. You know, I was just looking at her like, what's wrong with you? You know? So nothing ever happened in any of your trips? No! I just go to my conference, my meetings, and I get back to the room. You know, I, I work very hard. I'm tired, you know? Sex is the last thing on my mind. You know, why are we even talking about me? Uh, how about you? You, you, you kissed the guy. I, I, I could have sworn that you almost had him hold you. I didn't want to imagine it. Well, you have to believe me too. I, I don't know what came over me that night. I just, but I, I'm sure I didn't have sex with him. Sure. Sure. You have to believe me, too. Okay, I'm just messing with you. I believe you. You know, what well, you don't realize is he, he, he drugged you that night. You know, he just like, drugged you. Where did you even find the guy? I don't know. I don't know him. He just came as a priest and as a plumber. Christian and plumber? Those Christians can be very horny. <laughs>
So, that there were two brothers. Hmm? One of them was Cain, the other one was Abel. Cain, Yoda, and Abel. Okay? One day, God told them to bring sacrifices. Right? And they got the same instructions. When the time came, Abel brought his own. Cain brought his own. But um, Abel's sacrifice was accepted, and Cain's sacrifice was not accepted. Of course, Cain was very angry. So don't be scared of this place. God is watching everything. You can see us. He knows we're here. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Are you going to pray before you sleep? Come on. Come sleep. Oh. Mm. Love you, Dad. Easy. Favor. I don't have any hand in it. It doesn't matter who did. I must miss my priorities, my my pursuit of happiness. Realize. Mm. Yeah. Seems like I was sacrificing today for tomorrow. Not slowing down and realizing that we need to slow down, enjoy, enjoy our lives. I kept struggling to make you see that. This few hours I've spent with you guys have been far better than all my hours of traveling put together. Mm. Yeah, for real. Mm. I, I don't, it's, I'm just realizing, you know, that I've missed you guys, that I've missed us, you know? And, and I'm realizing how much the pursuit of money has really distracted me. Well, whoever brought us here did me a favor too. Because I was 
dying alone in that house. It's a big house. But you know what I'm thinking? Maybe we shouldn't we'll go back there. <laughs> I want to go back home. Like, I want to be home right now. Of course. I love you. What? Just be humans. Fifty. We have come to the final point. It's time to go home. Who the hell are you? You can call us salvation. You set this up? Perhaps you would like to meet our friend who happens to be a friend of Madame here. What is it? What is he talking about? I don't, I don't know. You anything. said you knew nothing about it. I don't know anything, I, I swear. But I he just know. talked about your friend. What friend? I swear, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about this. What is going on? I don't know. I don't know anything. This good for nothing bastard. How dare you? How could you kill me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for putting you and your family into all of this. But I must say, your husband is a very stupid and foolish man. In fact, he's the world's dumbest man. Dumb doesn't make you rich. It obviously doesn't make you enviable. You really think I envy you? You know, that just confirms how dumb you are. You're beautiful. A wonderful wife. A great family. But you're too blind to see that. You're self centered and insensitive. Hello. Um, you call us for plumbing. Oh, yeah, goodness, Lord. You're right. Um, my sink, uh, come let me show you. Alright. What could be better than what is already provided for you all? Fix my imaginations, Richard. Oh, that's the plumber. Yeah. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. The Lord is calling. <laughs> It'll be fine. Nothing, nothing is out of the right person.
I'm not blind. I married her. Alright. Yeah. Maybe I was a little bit caught. But I've already spoken to my wife. We'll sort that out. But for you, don't think that I'm not going to report to the police for this. Don't think you're not you're gonna get away with this. After trying to get with her, even after drawing her and uh, she still said no. <laughs> Don't worry, I told you he was. You met him. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Uh, Hi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, yes, we wish you a wonderful and happy birthday to one of the most um, dedicated mothers I know. Happy birthday. Um, you won't look to go home. Chero, are you overwhelmed by the event already? Let me take that. Thank you so much, JT. I really appreciate this. You're welcome, mommy. Where is the music? Where is everybody? Where is you? Did I say something? No, no, it's not your fault. Spoiling your beautiful makeup. Huh? I've told you everything is going to be fine. You can sit down. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop crying, please. For her sake. Hi. It's very late. What do you want? Um, yeah, I know it's late, but um, I saw what happened at the party and I can't pretend. I just felt it would be inhuman if I go to bed without, um, you know, seeing my friend, who obviously I know is very, very sad. I'm not sad. And I'm not your friend. You're a plumber. A very proud one, no. Mrs. Evelyn Okafo, by the special grace of God, I am the CEO of Quick Fixer. I took special interest in... Quick Fixer? Plumbing giant? Well, you should have seen one of your staff. You don't have to come all by yourself. Well, you know what to say. If you want something done properly, you do it yourself. Um, please, can I come in? I have something important to share with you. Thank you. Hey, why is there so much gloom in this place when the Lord Jesus is taking control already? I just have this, this feeling. You feel sick? No. Feel? I don't know, I just feel. You need my husband. Husband? Right here with you. 
yourself to be God now. You play God in people's lives. Let's see how the jail works out for you. You this stupid rapist and kidnapper. If I had a woman like her, I'd spend a lot more time with her. I see. I mean, every day, morning, Noon, night, every hour, minute, and seconds. And I will look into her eyes, mm. see every desire there, and make sure they are met with. How do you work, sir? How do you get a woman? 